Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to learn what is the difference between local and global cursors in SQL Server. So local cursor, the scope of local cursor is limited to the batch store procedure or a trigger in which it is created once the batch is done or a store procedure is done or a trigger is completed the local cursor will not be available to use any more now let's move forward to the global cursor the scope of a global cursor is limited to the connection in which it is created you can use a global cursor in multiple batches you can open in first and fetch in the second batch you can also open the global cursor in one store procedure and then fetch the data in the next store procedure as long as they use or share the same connection so it is important some major difference is the scope of cursors the uh, local cursor scope is limited to batch, store procedure or trigger in which it is uh, created. The global cursor, the scope is limited to the connection. So now let's go to the demo and take a look uh, what exactly uh, these definition mean to us. Now I am creating a table called DBO customer table and uh, it has customer ID, customer name, address and city and state. So I'm going to create this table and then I'm going to insert a few records so I'm inserting four records here we will be using these uh, uh, records uh, in the cursor now let's go to the cursor and here what I'm doing so I'm using a database called test and then I'm declaring a cursor so I declare a cursor by saying declare cursor name and then I have to say cursor and then uh, here I will be using local or global so I can write local or global here so whatever I want to use let's don't put anything for now and I show you if we don't put anything what happened now we are using the select query for the uh, our declaration of cursor so I'm selecting all the records from the DBO customer and then I'm opening a cursor so I open a cursor then I'm using a go uh, statement here if we go use the go statement in the SSMS that means it terminates that batch so this is a batch and then uh, with using go I'm terminating that one now I'm moving or switching uh, to the test database and I'm using a uh, uh, use database and go and then I'm fetching uh, the records uh, from the customer cursor so I will keep fetching the records uh, till uh, the fetch status uh, will return us non zero uh, value so we will return all uh, all the records from the cursor and then we close the cursor and then uh, we deallocate uh, the cursor so that's how we are uh, doing it right now we didn't say it is global or local so according to the definition if we run these two statements or batches uh, what should happen if uh, this cursor by default is local this should not print uh, anything it should give us error it should say I cannot see the cursor you have created in the first batch if uh, this will be local if this will be global what happened then uh, this statement uh, or this batch will return us uh, those uh, records so let's run uh, and take a look so now what we see here we op declare a cursor in the first badge we open a cursor in the first badge and then we fetch the records in the second batch so it did uh, display us the records so that means if we didn't put anything here not a global or a local it took as a global so now how we find out why it took uh, as a global so we have to click on the database go to the properties and then uh, see one of the property that tells us uh, what uh, if we would not put uh, as a local or global uh, option what will be the type of that uh, cursor so here we see default cursor global so that's what uh, the uh, because we have uh, uh, option set uh, on the database level so that's why it is taken as a global okay so we let's write this time now we have written 
global but it will return us the same uh, records and uh, because it is global as we already know that so it will uh, declare in the first uh, batch and uh, open in the first batch and it will be able to fetch the record in the next batch and uh, that's how the global uh, cursors work let's convert to the local so now if i convert to local the next batch should give us an error it should say okay i can't see that cursor because it is declared in the first batch and it is local it should not be able to see in the next one it should be terminated in the first batch so let's run this one now so as you can see a cursor with the name customer cursor does not exist so we got this error from the second one so let's run as an individual if we run them as the first one completed successfully second one if we run it so the same error we get it so i'm trying to tell you if you have a local uh, cursor then your next batch is not gonna see that cursor if you want your uh, cursor to be seen by the next batches you have to put as a global so if you put this global here then it will the next batch will be able to see that cursor and use it now we have done with the batches let's go and uh, do some experiments uh, with the um, store procedures so in the test database what i'm doing i'm creating a store procedure called dec and customer uh, uh, declare customer um, sorry cursor customer so I'm declaring in this uh, store procedure I'm only declaring and opening so I have put the global here and then uh, let me take the global part it is uh, true if we would not put global or local here it will take from the database definition whatever it is the options are set on database and use it so we are selecting the same records we are opening a cursor so let's create this uh, store procedure so we created the store procedure we declared and open a cursor now next uh, we are creating a, a fetch uh, store procedure fetch cursor customer so in this one we are fetching the records from the cursor that we created in the first uh, store procedure okay so let's run this one we created the second store procedure now as we are in the same connection so i don't have to be in the same connection where i created the store procedure i have to be in the same connection where i'm going to use those um, store procedure so let's say if i execute the first one it executed successfully then next if i will use the fetch cursor um, customer store procedure it should fetch all those records as you can see it is able to fetch all those records from the first store procedure cursor that we created in the first store procedure and now we can close the cursor and deallocate by using sql statements so when we do not provide the value here it take the option from the database and then as you see that in the global cursor if we create the cursor inside one store procedure and open it we can fetch in the next store procedure so let's uh, do the local now if i put a local here now if i run this one sorry totally wrong i should be altering the store procedure now so i altered the store procedure but this time we are telling you this uh, cursor is a uh, local as per definition we know that if a cursor is local we will not be able to access in next batch or a store procedure or a trigger so let's try this now and uh, now we open this one we we are executing a declare cursor customer store procedure that has the local cursor declare inside and open now if i try to fetch in the next uh, uh, store procedure what happened so it is saying a cursor with name customer cursor does not exist so even we are in the same connection but as we have defined our cursor as local in the store procedure the other or next store procedure is not able to see that cursor so that's how this uh, local and global um, cursors work let's go one more time back and if we will define this one global again then our store procedure both of them 
first one should be able to declare and open it the next one should be able to fetch it and then we can close it as we are in the same connection so there could be uses of these global and uh, local cursors but most of the time if you are not interested in the cursor you might want to just write those to the global temp tables and uh, use in different batches uh, um, in, in, during uh, the same connection and uh, but you, you have the option you can always uh, uh, create local or global uh, uh, cursors and use them across uh, uh, for the locals uh, you will be using on the same batch or a store procedure or a trigger but uh, for the global you can use them across multiple batches multiple store procedures uh, or triggers thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you in next video